Well, good morning, guys. We just woke up and we're about to miss breakfast. Andrew? We can't miss bre I mean, Quick. breakfast. We gotta go. I think it closes like 15 minutes. It's like 9 a.m. We slept in. Right now, we are in a hotel in the middle of Nebraska because we are trying to deliver this donation to Feeding America for Ryan Trahan's fundraiser. It's not going that well. If you missed yesterday's episode, our van broke down and is currently at the shop getting repaired. What is that sound? Oh my God, this is legit it. This is the end. We don't know what we're gonna do, if it's gonna get fixed or if we have to get a rental car, but uh, that's what we have to figure out this morning. Also, Blake woke up before us. I didn't even hear him leave, but he's nowhere to be found. I think he went down to get breakfast as well. Oops. Finally, our method worked, getting continental breakfast. And this is sweet. We're watching the weather report on TV. Tornado warning for Chicago. That is literally where we're trying to go. This is where we're driving through. <laughs> Level five. Level five tornado? This is not a good start to the day, guys. I'm about to call the repair shop for the van and see what the status is. This is gonna determine what we do today, what the game plan is. White camper van, what were we doing with it? Mm, not sure, it broke down and we had it towed there. Okay, sounds good. What's a good phone number for you to follow up with? Just searched for car rentals in this town of Norfolk. No results found. Just checking out and I had a question. Are there any car rental places around here? No. Guys, we made the decision. I don't think the van is going to be repaired in time. So we're going to get a cab to a different city that has rental cars. All right, we're back in the van. We had to stop here to grab a few supplies that we left here, like the drone and some clothes and some other random stuff. But I think this is officially goodbye to the van. So it's been nice driving you. We're out front of the hotel, just waiting for a cab now. It's come to this. Our van with our unlimited shelter, as some of you are putting it, is out of commission forever. Here's the progression board. Day one, we did okay with five bucks. Day two was an excellent day. We made a lot of money from your guys' likes. Day three, we did like challenges. And we're starting day four with basically $10. And no fan. When you guys left a really cool comment on a recent video saying that we could go into stores and ask if we can make them like a uh, promotion or a commercial for their business for the video for some money. We're walking next door while we wait for this taxi to see if Culver's wants to give us uh, some money for a commercial. Let's go inside and ask. We wanted to see if you guys would be interested if we made a small commercial for our video for your store for a small amount of money. Not be a question for me, but I can go ask. You don't know if you don't ask. He says probably not. Darn it, okay. Well, well <laughs> thanks anyways. Keep on trying, I guess. All right. We got a few other businesses right around here. Do you want a commercial for our video for five bucks for a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it'd be kind of fun. Let's, I don't know. Let's do it. We are here at Wetzel and Truex Jewelers here in Norfolk, Nebraska. And let me tell you, they got some fantastic jewelry you have got to come check out. Let's take a look at some. They've got watches, custom wedding bands, even nice pens and clocks. They have been in business for over 100 years, so they know how to take care of their customers. Attention to detail is a cornerstone to this business. I mean, just look at the details in these diamonds. So what are you guys waiting for? Come see Mark here in Norfolk. He'll take good care of you. Worth more than that. Here, have that and have fun with you. Ah, oh, no way! No way. With your trip and... Thank you. Guys, 10 bucks. Thank you, Mark. We appreciate it. John Justin, it's, by the way. Like that. Andrew. Andrew, yeah. have a good one. Take yeah. care. Yes, guys, it worked. I legit <laughs> did not think that was going to work, Andrew. We made a commercial <laughs> for our business. 10 bucks. Yes. yes. This 10 bucks is actually going to help a lot because this cab ride we're about to get is not going to be cheap. It is time to make the new video live. Oh. There we go. I hope we get a lot of likes on this one, specifically because we need it. Caleb, where are you? It's kind of funny because this whole challenge started off as more just like a fun way to donate, but it's actually turned into a real life survival situation. We're kind of roughing it out here. Literally, we broke down in a town that doesn't even have any taxi service, doesn't have any public transportation. We can't even get across town. There's no rental cars. The list goes on. Please like the videos. Yes, it's us. Start loading up. Howdy. What's up, gentlemen? You're saving the day. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> Do you watch YouTube? No, I don't get it. You know, Andrew here, he has 7 million followers. I need your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> They say it's 350? Yeah, that's what she told me. Alrighty. 60, 80, 100. A little tip for you? Well, thank you. Thank I'd you. never get freaking tips. Look at this guy's new city, Omaha. Wow. You guys aren't gonna believe this because this is pretty crazy that even our driver didn't believe this, but there's not a single rental car in this entire city to rent. We checked. The only thing left is to rent a U-Haul. So uh, this is where we're at, a U-Haul parking lot. I think they have vehicles that we can rent. Hi. Hello. I'm going to have to fit you might end up stopping in the highway. All right. Wow. So this is home. This is home. <laughs> well, here we are. Road trip. <laughs> Can I play my music? Never it's once that bad, did I think that this road trip adventure would come to this. Caleb, answer your phone. So the unexpected clearly has happened. So we decided that we weren't gonna go back to day one's video, but we have to unlock the bank. We have to go back and get some likes from that video. We did like challenges yesterday, so we didn't use any likes. So we have to use those likes today. So after the taxi cab down here, which was $350, and then renting this U-Haul, which was six over $600, we have $436 left. And that's including today's likes already, which we're at 30,000. Uh, Sandy Blake? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we are on our way to get some Chick-fil-A. Where will we go next? I don't know. Where are you going? We've got a 44 level for you. <laughs> so clearly one of these seats is not as good as the others. Oh, we have a good idea. And we're at Walmart to get some upgrades. <laughs> Since we have a little cash to spend, we have found the deodorant. It's pretty crazy. This day has basically gotten away from us. It's already four o'clock and we haven't even done that much. Finally, we are back on the highway in a vehicle. It feels good to be back. You can say that again. It feels good to be back. Next stop. Iowa. So we just went from Nebraska to Iowa, but Iowa, we've only been here maybe 20 minutes, but it has a different vibe to it. And I like it. You can't see anything though, right? Yeah, what feels different about it? Explain That's, it and describe it to me. It's just the vibe. Like Nebraska, I just, I've kind of had it with that place. Gotta get out of there. But here, it just feels different. You guys aren't triplets. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Uh. Hotel prices are kind of high, and obviously we don't have the camper van anymore. So we've been looking for alternative options, and Blake just stumbled across something. Blake, you want to tell everybody what you just found? Yeah, floating bed in a, in a tree. <laughs> a floating bed, literally right up the road. So we're going to swing by uh, and uh, see if it's available. We are legit in the Iowa backcountry. I am loving these small town vibes. We're here in Earlham, Iowa. How, how many people live here? What'd you say, Blake? 1,300, something like that. So we're about to go into the grocery store, get some essentials for tonight, specifically s'more stuff, because there is a fire pit there. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys have a great one. Yeah, you too. Blake, I gotta know, what is that you plugged in? It's a flash drive with music on it. 
Have you ever heard of an iPod? Or Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> I have an iPod, but Caleb said iPods are... Uh, Caleb said... Not so modern he, enough. So I got a flash drive. <laughs> you went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> How many songs do you have on that thing? It can fit up to like a couple thousand. I mean, I'm not that impressed because Spotify has billions, if not millions. Thing. We have made it to the community pool. And wow, it's actually really nice out here. Look at this. We got two pools, one over there, one right here. Wait, are you guys those YouTubers? Yeah. Let's go. No way. You yeah. watch? What's your yeah. name, man? Keegan. Keegan? Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Oh, Kale. Hey, good to meet you guys. You guys do that thing in like stores, like them forts? That's right, bro. Yeah, those are so cool. You want to jump in, Andrew? So you recommend swimming in here? Yeah, go ahead, Andrew. Jump in. <laughs> he didn't just subscribe. He literally just turned on notifications, like, immediately. Brother. He, like, knows what's up. You guys think we'll hit 7 million subscribers on this road trip? Let's check the actual number. 6992. Oh. We only need 8,000. Well, a little bit less than 8,000 subscribers. Wait, when in Iowa, right? Oh, ah, it's so warm, but there's so many bushes in here. It feels like they're entangled up in me. <laughs> oh, top gun. All right, danger zone. Oh, oh, oh the seaweed. Oh, <laughs> After another long drive to jump in a, a lake here. Oh, we're living life. Sorry, uh, breakdown van. You can't stop us from having fun. That was the world's worst high five. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to see where we'll be sleeping tonight. This is exciting. Here we are. Uh, this is literally some guy's house. I don't know. Oh, yeah, keep going. Office registration. All right. This is pretty cool. This feels kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Hello? Hi, on my way. Let's get you guys started. Oh no, that's a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> what? She said this was a king bed, I thought. Up we go. Hey guys, this is pretty cool. Went right down the road to a local dollar store and they actually have pillows here because our treehouse bed has no blankets no pillows so this is gonna come in much handy so you'll subscribe i don't sure i don't know oh, please. is it free yeah it's free, it's free to su subscribe okay yeah i can't say that i'll well. tie my phone up and i'll do that yes two new subscribers hopefully back at the campsite time to start a fire it's time to make some s'mores it's the best time of day good, for boy. everybody did you know s'mores are blake's favorite dessert yeah but he likes them black for some reason oh that's the only way to eat s'mores no <laughs> oh my gosh oh, i missed Dude. ew <laughs> what is wrong with you that's not a s'more <laughs> andrew help me what are you doing what am i doing <laughs> I'm enjoying making a s'more. Yeah. Just made like a pile of charcoal. It's called the Mr. Wilson Wellness Burger. <laughs> I did not think we'd be here tonight, but this is fantastic. Also, if you haven't noticed, new merch. Link in description if you want some. It's time to get into the tree pod. Bedtime at last. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shoot! What? <laughs> I don't like it. Wait, don't raise it yet. <laughs> Up though. It's not like there's like monsters on the ground. <laughs> I don't know, you don't know that. Did you think when we started the day that we would end the day hanging in a tree? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, this place just happened to come right by when we were on track. Yeah, it literally did come out of nowhere. Oh gosh, but here's the deal guys. We're still five and a half hours from Feeding America, which is our end goal for this whole road trip mini series. And hopefully tomorrow without any hiccups, we should be able to make it to Chicago. But if you haven't already subscribed, we'll see you in the morning. Good night.